Wow, boy. Let me hold some. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Now, now I'm in this weird thing because I'm like, I gotta answer this mother. I've been stuck in the five times. Five times. 25 minutes with Puff at the Cosmopolitan between the first and second floor. Hi there. Welcome to Relax Brew. According to Gunn, Kelly, and reports, MGK is one of Diddy's boy toys who signed with Bad Boy after doing some, a eh, favors for the rapper. At an event, Diddy reportedly went up on his knees to get MGK to sign him right away because he thought MGK looked good. Record deal, but that's not the only thing that MGK and Diddy are said to have in common. MGK has a long history of making offensive remarks about minors, even as young as 13. He has also talked about pursuing girls when they are underage, and he even made inappropriate remarks about Eminem's daughter Haley when she was 16 years old. Is just the tip of the iceberg. After all, someone as close to Diddy as MGK must have a lot of secrets in his closet. But what Eminem specifically revealed about MGK and Diddy's relationship is that MGK is really Diddy's boy. Was also exposed for fetishizing black women while simultaneously using the N-word. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do at this point. The list of Diddy's alleged industry boy toys just got longer, and there are rumors that his artist Machine Gun Kelly was one of them. Toy, let's break it down. Since the situation has evolved to the point where you are an enemy, I will not elaborate further. MGK is one of the few rappers who is never afraid to call out Diddy. Not only did Mem accuse Diddy of arranging a hit on Tupac on his single Kill Shot, but he also freaked out with Diddy in return for a record deal. As you surely know, MGK has been involved in a highly publicized spat with Eminem. He has another song supposedly in the works where he reveals MGK's strange relationship with Diddy. To put it in perspective, when MGK played in Austin, Texas, in 2011, Diddy reportedly caught wind of MGK. After the event, Diddy contacted him and instantly offered him an offer to sign a recording contract with Bad Boy Records. Although it has never been clear how Diddy just saw this unknown rapper perform, once before deciding to offer him a record deal. When I originally signed Machine Gun Kelly in 2019, Diddy mentioned in an Instagram post that has since been removed that he knew MGK was going to be a star from the time he saw him. An idol while I'm convinced that MTK is skilled and marketable, rumors have it that Diddy passed on reaching him at that point. I'm really pleased with the artist he is developing. He's demonstrated all the qualities of an artist who will stand the test of time. Due to his lyrical prowess, and it was purportedly more influenced by MGK's appearance. MGK and Diddy were tight for a long time. In fact, MGK once mentioned that Diddy provided him with supplies back in 2011. At the time, MGK was barely 20 years old and somewhat resembled a young Justin Bieber during his double UN toe gangsta heyday. Combined with medications. When I smoked something that Puff had given me, it seemed as though I had partied nonstop for three nights. It was the wildest thing MGK had ever seen. Diddy used to hang out with him during his early years on Bad Boy, and he frequently talks about the crazy things he had witnessed. MGK is still signed to Bad Boy as of 2023, but he never made it clear what precisely you kick around him. It's like his entire existence is like, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy to look at, since I always make sure to maintain my normalcy. Interior scope documentation but it appears that they are no longer as close as they once were, and MGK supposedly believed Diddy was interested in advancing his career, while Diddy was purportedly just interested in obtaining one thing from MGK. Furthermore, problematic is the notion that Diddy attempted to employ MGK in order to degrade Eminem when Eminem made a public accusation against Diddy of being responsible for Tupac's death. However, this backfired greatly because Eminem ultimately exposed MGK and Diddy as weirdos. Back in 2012, MGK tweeted that Eminem's daughter, Hi, was hot AF even though she was just 16 at the time. This sparked MGK's feud with M. Many other unsettling tweets that MGK had posted about girls as young as 13 have since surfaced. In one of these tweets, he stated, I wish 13, 14, 15-year-old girls weren't allowed to be hot so I wouldn't feel like such a creeper when I look at them. I'm still 19. 
In another interview, MGK remarked he went a step further and bravely defended older males becoming involved with underage teenagers because he had a crush on Kendall Jenner and didn't want to wait until she was 18. It makes no difference who my initial celebrity crush was at the moment, my sole fixation was Kendall J. I've mentioned it a lot, and I really hope that not letting me move to Los Angeles or counting down the days till my daughter turns 18, I'm 23 years old, and I'm not acting creepy like I'm saying. She's 17 years old and she acts like a celebrity, as if there is no such thing as an 18-year-old. I'll go now, dog. Boundaries there, right? One of the best lead vocalists of all time, Robert Plant, sang for Led Zeppelin and dated a lady who was 14 years old. Axl Rose, one of the baddest guys ever, dated a 16-year-old girl and penned a song on her first record. That tweet that MGK posted about Eminem's daughter set off a chain reaction in which MGK claimed that Eminem had banned him from several radio stations. Eminem later refuted this, saying he couldn't care less about MGK blowing up, but in March 2018, MGK posted that he didn't care, appeared on a line from the Tech 9 song No Reason, which seemed to be directed at Eminem. On the song Not Like That, which featured Royce to 59, M mocked MGK's credibility by referring to him as a phony gunner and a non-threatening blonde fairy. Additionally, Eminem mentioned Diddy in this song, suggesting that the only reason MGK is courageous enough because of his association with Diddy, people have been disparaging him. This back and forth has continued, with MGK responding with a song of his own. Eminem responded to Rap Devil's request with the song Killshot, in which he made references to Diddy's purported addiction and made reference to the long-running rumors that Diddy was responsible for Tupac's death. To pharmaceuticals on the kill shot while rhyming, I will not fail. I'm with the doc still. Eminem compares his mentor, Dr. Drew, to MGK's employer. Diddy, telling him he consumes pills and tells me he's got talents. But Kel's the moment a song is released. Diddy has to acknowledge that it was his hit that ultimately led to Pac's death. Nevertheless, Mem didn't stop there. He also hinted that Diddy was the one who pressured MGK to release his diss track Rap Devil, which is supported by a line that Eminem said earlier in the song, Got the Diddy, okay, so you spent your whole day shooting a video just to dig your own grave. There's also another intriguing detail. MGK claimed on Revol that Eminem called Diddy and Interscope founder Jimmy Levine and begged them to squash the beast. However, M stated he'd never in his life called Diddy for anything other than a hit. It is worth noting that the kill shot was released on September 14, one day after the 22 anniversary of Tupac's death. It didn't feel like a diss to me, rather, it felt like a hymn up to Diddy that never happened. Eminem has been criticizing Diddy since the 90s, long before the rest of the industry caught up and realized what Diddy was doing to his artists, so there's no reason not to believe him. Moreover, he covered the song Any Man, original bad boy in 1999. He also sprayed Puffy with mace, blew a hole in your face, and covered it. On top of all of this, there are rumors that Eminem will reveal more dark details about MGK and Diddy's relationship on his next album. Fans are claiming that both MGK and Diddy deserve whatever M has in store for them, and it looks like a lot of work. Back in October, M seemed to be hinting at a new project by releasing new merchandise. Rumor has it that at least one of the tracks will address claims that MGK is Diddy's boy toy. People think that Machine Gun Kelly performed some favors for Diddy in exchange for a record deal. I find it extremely strange that Machine Gun Kelly has remained silent. Another fan claimed that MGK was actually signed to Diddy, and Diddy never mentioned that he wanted MGK. It's hard to tell what MGK has seen and done. Subscribe Relax Brew for more videos.